Okay, so the chapter that we are going to study today is physical and chemical changes. Okay, physical and chemical changes. So actually, this is a small part of a bigger chapter called chemical reactions and equations. Okay, chemical reactions and equations. So if we get time, we will try to cover that chapter after completing this chapter. Okay, now as the name suggests, think about this. Right, as the name suggests, physical and chemical changes. Right, so your question should be okay. I'm talking about changes, but changes in what? Tell me, changes in what? Right, in your different substances, right? Different substances, yes, right? Or you can say that chemical substances, yes or no? Tell me, yes or no? Because everything, everything that exists is your chemical substance. Everything. Agree? Be it our skin or your utensils. Everything. Everything. Right? It is made up of some chemical substance. So obviously, it is made of atom. Right? Or element. Or compound. Or molecule. Right, everyone? Okay. Now, what is the actual meaning of the change? Right? So let's think of example. Think of two examples actually, right? Now, in last chapter, we have studied that milk will convert into curd. Yes, milk will convert into curd. Agree? Right? Yes, we have discussed now how curd is acidic, how it has lactic acid and all those things, right? So my question is, this is obviously a change. Yes, this is obviously a change because milk and curd are not same. They are different substance. Yes, everyone. Everyone agree that milk and curd are two different substance. Right? Or milk and butter. And butter. Right? Right? So obviously, they're not same. They are different, right? So obviously, I can say that milk has changed to curd or butter. So this is a change, right? So I have to understand what is change, right? If a substance convert into another substance by any mean, by any mean, right? Okay, it may be your chemical process or physical process, but if if any substance is converting into any other substance, it has undergone a change. Agree everyone? Tell me. Agree? Right? Now just think of a, lots of examples. Okay. In front of, like in our daily life. When you burn a matchstick, what happens? Tell me. When you burn a matchstick, what happens? Tell me. When you burn a matches stick, what will happen? That's my question. Fires produced, okay, and and what? Apart from that, any anything else? Anything else? Just think about it. Yes. Yes. Heat is produced, release of CO2, right? What will happen to the wood of the matchstick? Okay. What will happen to the wood of matchstick? It will get burned, right? So it will convert into ash. Yes, it will convert into ash. Agree, right? Yes, 
can you convert it back to your wood tell me my question is simple can you convert back into wood can you convert ash after burning back into wood no right that's basic question no right same question is your wood and ash are same same means chemically same are they chemically same or different They are same or different? Tell me. You see, how can they be same? They are different, na? Right? They are different. Yes. Okay. Okay, everyone. Now I'll give you a second example. Suppose, suppose you cut a tree. Suppose you cut a tree, right? Okay, right? Or you cut wood into smaller pieces, right? You are cutting. A wood in smaller pieces, right? So obviously, the size of wood will change. Agree? The size of wood will change. Yes, but wood itself will change. Means if you take the bigger piece and then the smaller pieces, are they different or they will be same? The composition will be same or different? Tell me. Will it be same or different? Same, same, na. No? They will still be wood, right? They will still be wood. They won't convert, right? Got it? Or just take a, another problem. Okay. Suppose you tear your paper, right? Okay. You tear your paper into pieces. Got it, everyone? Right. So obviously, even after tearing, the size will shape change. The shape will change, but, but. The composition it will still remain paper. Agree, agree, everyone. Are you getting my point? Everyone is getting my point. Okay, but suppose you burn the paper. Suppose you burn the paper, right? Now, if you burn the paper, what will happen? Tell me. Suppose you burn the paper, then what will happen? Obviously, the paper we will convert into ash agree right now obviously both process in both process paper is changing right okay in one case right paper is converted right or paper is going to pieces pieces of okay, wait something has happened with my okay so in one case, right, a paper is, right, teared into pieces, okay, and in second case, burned, right, burned, okay. So tell me, obviously these two, are your changes, agree, both are changes, yes or no? Now just think about this. I haven't told you what is physical change, what is chemical change yet. But what do you think? According to your understanding, what do you think? This A, right? Converting of a bigger piece into smaller pieces is your physical change or chemical change? Tell me, what do you think? A, is your physical change or chemical change? Yes, very good, right? So this is intuitive. Right? This is intuitive. Okay? Right? Okay, that it is your physical change. Now, second one, B, paper to ash. Right? Okay? It is your chemical or physical? Chemical. Yes, very good. Right? So, I guess all of you understood the basic idea about changes and the basic idea about physical change and chemical change. Okay? So we will study it one by one. This is very easy chapter. Okay, we will be completing this chapter. Now just think about this. You have a cup of coffee. Just think about this, right? This chapter is very easy, very simple concepts. Okay, suppose you have a cup of coffee and you keep that cup of coffee in fridge, right? What will happen? Tell me, what will happen? It will become cold, right? It will become cold. So that change is your physical change or chemical change? Tell me. 
it will be physical change or chemical change physical change na right physical change right it still it will still be coffee it won't convert into tea right hai na right only the temperature will drop but still it will be coffee yes or no yes or no right yes so chemical composition will not change so you can just point out two concepts if chemical composition change right if chemical composition will change then it is your chemical changes okay right okay ab enough if we can complete this chapter soon then yes we can play kahoot okay so see we will just talk about examples because this chapter is actually very easy if it comes intuitively then it will be very easy okay now making your nimbu pani tell me nimbu pani is your physical change or chemical change right if you dissolve sugar to make cold drink or nimbu pani right tell me it is your physical change or chemical change pur vi just think about this right just think about this if you make nimbu pani sugar will change into salt yeah just think about this sugar will change into salt no right sugar will remain sugar it will dissolve but it will remain sugar is it changing chemically no right okay that's one question that you have to ask only the form is changing right it is converting from solid to liquid that's a physical change na right tell me it is a physical change right physical means yes agree agree everyone so these are the very basic concepts that you should think okay now setting of a curd right if milk is converting into curd if milk is converting into curd then tell me which kind of change is it is which kind of change it is yes exactly that is your chemical change because chemically right it is converted into something else right this is the formation of lactic acid due to bacteria yes everyone okay right now if you stretch a rubber if you stretch your rubber right or just take take example of balloon okay if you blow the balloon right the shape will change so that is your physical change or chemical change physical change so i hope all of you understood what's the basic idea about physical change and chemical change okay everyone yes yes everyone okay okay right so all the changes that we observe in nature are of two types either physical change or chemical change this example that i gave you when you tear the paper into smaller pieces right this is your physical changes because even the size is changing the shape might change the chemical composition will be same it will still be paper right everyone okay but if you burn the paper right it won't remain paper it will convert into ash okay so that is your chemical change now when you write on a chalk sorry when you write on blackboard right you use chalk agree now after writing for one day two day the chalk will be used it will decrease in size yes what kind of change is that physical change now see if you move around right obviously you are not a chemical process right <laughs> okay this is all about when a substance is changing into other substance right if you are moving are you changing into something else right are you converted into spider man superman right no na right okay so what it ragini right okay now there are some activities so the first activity was again paper second activity your chalk board right third activity 
your eyes okay when you keep your eyes okay when you keep your eyes in your normal room temperature obviously it will melt got it everyone right okay so obviously that is your physical change right everyone so if i have to tell you if i have to tell you that write down two points write down two points on physical change and chemical change yes you think it is very easy see your syllabus is actually very easy because we don't think about lots of concepts it's just theory but if we can complete the syllabus soon we will talk about chemical reac reactions also okay right everyone okay now yeah so i said that can we point out two points right which can explain physical change and chemical change tell me two points everyone think about this tell me so the first i can say that the first point is the first point is if a substance right change its shape and size right but it does not change its chemical composition right then that change is your physical change or chemical change tell me physical change or chemical change that is your physical change okay right everyone okay yes okay everyone so i can say that i can say that if if there is any change in which physical parameters are changed okay physical properties are changed right physical properties such as size shape color right and state of substance okay then that change is called as physical change okay got it tell me everyone got this right everyone got this the first point if there is a change when any of the physical property change without changing the chemical composition right without changing the chemical composition then that change is called as physical change right that's the first point second point no such or no new substances formed in your physical change okay no new substance is formed in physical change the substance will remain the same okay everyone i hope everyone understood what is physical change right and you should add one more point okay that it is reversible in nature okay right reversible means you can convert one substance or the change substance from each other for example for example if you talk about ice right ice is converted into water ice is converted into water right then water can again be converted into ice yes right everyone most that's the thing most are reversible right so you can say that physical changes may be reversible right may be reversible okay right but just think about this if you burn a paper if you burn a paper can you convert it back to paper tell me yes or no is it possible to convert ash into paper again no right okay so i can say that chemical changes is irreversible once one substance is converted into other substance it cannot be converted back under same condition yes under same condition right so physical changes we have understood chemical changes chemical changes are those changes in which in which substance react with other substance to convert it into new substance okay right yes yes out of it is made of o2 and h2 we will see the reactions don't worry we will see the reactions also okay right now i told you that chemical changes are those changes in which substance change into new substance okay right got it and it cannot be converted back example when milk is converting into curd second i hope all of you have observed rust 
Yes, all of you have observed rust on iron. Tell me, yes or no? Is there anyone who haven't seen rust till now? Rust, not rust, right? What do you think? What kind of change it is? It is chemical change or physical change? It is your chemical change, Sri Charan. It is your chemical change, right? So, what happens? We will see. Okay, we will see what happens. So now we are actually starting the chapter. Okay. And see, I request all of you to please watch the video once again and make your own notes. Okay, right? You have to make your own notes. Okay, so we will just write it down. So, physical change and chemical change, right? So, first we are writing physical change. Physical change, right? So, I can say that when there is change in, there is change in, change in the physical properties, the physical properties of any substance, any substance and no new substances formed and no new substances formed right then that change is called as that change is called as as physical change physical change okay right everyone Example, ice converting into water, right? Agree? Agree everyone? Okay, right? So, second point you can say, no change in chemical composition. No change in chemical composition. Chemical composition. Right? Means in ice, if we have H2O, right? Then this water is also H2O. Yes or no? Right? Chemically, both are same. They're not changing. Agree? Agree, everyone? Okay? I hope all of you are getting this. Okay. Next. Chemical change. chemical change. So in this I can say that when a substance change into change into another substance chemically chemically and its chemical composition change and its chemical composition chemical composition change then it is called as chemical change as chemical change got it right so rusting is an example of chemical change. So we'll just see rusting of iron. Okay, rusting of iron. So let's see what happens here. Okay, 
So we have iron. Fe is the symbol of iron. Okay. Fe is your symbol of iron. Right. Got it. Now, when this iron, okay, when you talk about iron, when it comes in contact with moist air, right? Moist air, which is O2 plus H2O. Okay, moist air, right? It converts into a new substance, right? New substance, which is FeO, right? Or Fe2O3. Okay, right? Now this is called as rust. This is called as rust. Right, I'll just write Fe2O3. Okay, got it? Right, so you can see that, you can see that when you talk about iron, right, iron gates or iron utensils, anything, if it is kept in open for long time, okay, there's a small brownish layer, yes or no? Tell me, yes or no? There's a small brownish layer which you can just scrap. Yes, okay, it's a flaky brownish layer. Okay, that is your rust. Okay, yes, that is your rust. Okay, right? So what is rust? Rust is chemically something else. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, right everyone? Anyone have any issue? Anyone have any issue? See, these are the examples. I hope all of you have seen rust. Okay, right? Okay, everyone? Okay, so what is rusting? Rusting is, rusting is, right? A chemical process in which iron is changed into okay right or you can just say like this wait okay so you can just say like this that Rusting is a process, okay, or rusting is a, now this iron is reacting with which compound, tell me, this is reacting with which compound? Oxygen, yes or no, this is reacting with oxygen, right? So there's a general term, if a reaction is carried out, okay, right? Yes, oxygen, water, right? So you can just say that it's a reaction in which Wait, I'll just write it down. Okay. It is a reaction in which the iron, the iron, right? Iron react with, react with moist water. What's the meaning of moist water? Sorry, moist air. What's the meaning of moist air? Tell me. What is the meaning of moist air? It means it contain water, right? Okay, it contain water, right? With moist air to form brownish layer, okay, brownish layer of rust, okay, of rust, and the chemical formula, rust, what is rust? Tell me, what is rust? It is Fe2O3, that's it. If it is Fe2O3, okay, iron oxide, it is your iron oxide. Okay, everyone. Tell me. Got it? No, there will be something else also. Okay. Actually, it forms something else. This is your final product. Okay. 
we haven't discussed the chemical reactions now that's why i'm not going deep into that okay actually it is fe2o3 dot dot nh2 either it will be 2h2o 3h2o depending on this right so it is dot h2 so we are not discussing those things okay okay everyone fe2o3 fe2o3 right dot h2 nh2 actually it will be that is your reaction okay but obviously you might not get this reaction we will complete the syllabus try to so as soon as possible then we will try to learn the reactions okay so this is your rusting of iron yes right it is your brownish or reddish brown layer reddish brown reddish brown okay that's a first chemical change now every reaction every chemical reaction is your chemical change okay but since we don't know how to write equations right we will have some difficulty in understanding the chemical changes okay that's why that's why we will try to complete this chapter okay then we will see how chemical reaction is written okay the second this is a process right when you burn something right when you burn something wait okay second example right when you burn something actually you are reacting it with oxygen that process is called as combustion combustion okay right so combustion is reacting anything with oxygen reacting or burning anything in presence of oxygen right okay right or burning burning in presence of oxygen right for example example how many of you saw your uh, magnesium strips anyone so if you see the magnesium strip right okay we had what we have given to some students if you burn the magnesium strip if you burn the magnesium strip right in presence of oxygen it will convert into something else okay it will convert into something else right that reaction is a chemical reaction so first we will just write it down first right oxidation or combination com combustion of magnesium okay Wait, this might be burning of magnesium as simple as that burning of magnesium strip magnesium right so it is this mg is your magnesium plus oxygen right so obviously these two are two different compounds yes or no these two are two different compounds agree yes now they will combine to form mgo mgo okay this is your completely new compound this is called as magnesium oxide magnesium oxide oxide right so this is your chemical change so i can say that all chemical reactions all chemical reactions are chemical changes chemical changes agree agree everyone tell me yes all chemical reactions are your chemical changes okay now physical change is very easy physical change is very easy but chemical change you have to remember element first then you have to remember your cations and anions okay right okay everyone 
Tell me. Yes or no? Right? So, we will discuss, should we study this chemical changes in detail? Tell me. Should we study this chemical changes in detail? Yes? Okay. I'll give, I'll send the video. Don't worry. Okay. So, now before studying this, right, we will give the heading chemical reactions and equations because every chemical reaction, every chemical reaction is a chemical change. So, let's give the heading chemical reactions and equations. Reaction and equations. Okay. Got it, everyone? Tell me. Right? Now, we have studied some reactions. Okay. In chemistry first class, we have studied some reactions. For example, Na plus plus Cl minus gives what? Tell me. Gives what? Or Na plus Cl. Half Cl2. Gives NaCl. Yes or no? Common solve. So the, obviously this is a reaction. This is a reaction. Right everyone? So for any reaction, chlorine switcher and Cl means chlorine. Right? So reaction takes place between atoms, molecules or ions. Right? Okay. So I can say that reaction. Right? Reaction takes place between atoms, molecules, or ions. Okay? Agree? Tell me, agree? Two students left the classroom. I have internet issues. This is a very important topic. Very important topic. Okay. Now, think about this. Think about example. Mg plus H2O. Mg plus H2O. Right? Gives Mg OH whole twice. What is happening here? Tell me. What is happening here? Everyone, tell me what is happening here. Message. Chemical change, right? But if I have to be specific, I can say that metal, metal, right, is reacting with water, okay? to form hydroxide. Now that's the thing. We don't know what is Mg, right? We don't know what is Mg, right? So first thing that we should do is identify this example, right? Okay, so what we have to do now, okay? In order to study chemical reactions and chemical equations, we have to know something. What is that something? First, we have to know metals. What is metal? Non-metal, right? Okay. So till now we have studied that cation is your positively charged ions. Yes or no? Positively charged ions. Ions. Agree? Right? And anions are your negatively charged ions. Right? And obviously, this cation and anion will combine to form a compound. Agree? Yes or no? Agree? Yes? Okay. So, usually, usually, metal, metals, Form cations. Form 
rocket ions usually usually not always chemistry is full of exception okay and non metal forms in ions non metal form an ions okay usually why i am writing usually because chemistry is full of exceptions right now when you represent a metal right obviously we don't write the full name we write a symbol right example na it is symbol of sodium sodium mg is a symbol of magnesium k it is symbol of potassium okay ca it is symbol of calcium so this is first thing that we have to know and we have to remember which is symbol of elements symbol of elements okay that's the first thing we have to do got it everyone are you getting right so i will send you a table that you have to remember okay so these are the metals non metals same way o oxygen oxygen right n nitrogen cl chlorine okay so this is the first step right in order to write any chemical reactions or chemical equations or chemical compound the first thing we should know right is symbol right first is symbol of atoms molecule or ion or ion right that's the first thing second thing now when we talk about sodium i hope all of you remember sodium will give how many electrons tell me in order to be stable sodium will give how many electron i hope everyone remember this sodium ragini sodium sodium will give only one electron na right sodium was 11 right 23 so this we need not worry right sodium will give one electron to form na plus plus electron right everyone tell me right got it everyone is getting this okay and in same way chlorine will need one electron to form cl minus this is something that we have already studied in first class of chemistry okay okay everyone yes so this is called as valency second thing that you should know is valency okay so what is valency it is number of electrons given taken or shared right or shared by an atom or molecule okay got it so this is second thing that you should remember okay so i will send you a table in which these two things will be given okay wait you the wait right let us complete now okay so these two things you have to do before next class okay everyone okay so in your textbook it is just said right you have learned valency in school very good very good right so one when we know how to write the equation when we know how to write the equation right it will be easy to complete the syllabus okay right because then you will understand what is actually happening right 
Okay, very good, Shavya. Okay, very good. Right, so we will discuss each and everything one by one after remembering the compound name. Okay, okay. So, okay, so let's play Kahoot. Right, so I hope all of you got the basic idea about physical changes and chemical changes, right? So in chemical changes, we have to study about chemical reactions. For that, we have to know what is the chemical composition. We have to know how to write chemical formulas of substance. What is valency? Okay, got it everyone? Right? Okay, okay everyone. So we will play Kahoot, wait for two minutes or wait for five minutes, we will have a break of Okay everyone, one four four two eight four six.